Hey guys, Cage for here. I'm again doing another video. I'm making another custom extension aid. This one's not only a single, this one is a MK metal clad. This is a older series MK, but doesn't mean it's crap. It will still do its job perfectly well. There's a few more different things to highlight with these metal clad boxes. Okay, so we have our wire. This one is 10 amp is my first announcement so you've got 10 amp wire which is yeah there's restrictions you can't just put a 13 amp fuse in there therefore you need a black bus man or whatever brand 10 amp fuse in there to make it safe this plug this black plug I'm going to be leaving it alone because there's nothing wrong with it this is a LGA Selectric plug from PJ Electric so just show you in there the wiring is exactly the same as any plug, just with a 10 amp fuse. So we shove this plug back together. Why won't it go back together? There you go. Right, okay. So make sure this plug's tight. And again, we have our wire. So we cut back, we have to strip our wire. We need earth again, so we have brown, blue, and green and yellow so we strip our wire and so wire gets stripped nicely and you put your wire in through the metal clad box through this top nut or you will have a stuffing gland here this is old MK so this one we're going to slightly modify this one so we're going to put our wire in like so and we're just going to make a knot. Just going to put it in, make a tiny, tiny knot around the insulators of the wire. Why am I doing this? You may ask. You'll see in a minute. So I've made this tiny knot. You may not think much out of the knot. Actually, I need some more insulator wire for this. Oh my god! Or could it go around the white wire? If we're very, very careful. See, although you're losing extension wire, you need to be safe for this. So, we pull a knot in the wire, in the white of the wire. Then this way, when it comes up to the box, it doesn't pull out. Just a simple knot. We'll just add a cord grip. So, we've made a cord grip. This is what I want to announce. You have a little screw lug at the bottom. That requires you to connect a piece of earth wire. So we have a piece of earth cable here on it, and you're going to get your earth coming in from the plug, and you're going to twist it. You could solder this if you want, but there really is no point on this installation, there's no point. So you twist that as tight as you can. Now you wire your plug. So on this one, your live is there, your earth is there, and your neutral is there. So you prep the terminals, and metal clad is a little bit annoying, because I can't go and get a, I don't know, a slider electric metal clad because it won't fit over the MK box. For example, you can't even use white plastic sockets. If you try using this Crabtree one, it will fit, but that doesn't look very professional, does it? Bit, bit on the clunky side. So let's wire in this old MK piece of equipment here. <laughs> ah! I'm just warning you. I didn't get shot there. There's sometimes some little prickly bits on the wire. Which happens sometimes. It's an unfortunate thing that happens. You may get that as well. It's not electrocution because it's unplugged. You have to be very, very careful with this wire. And you have neutral, which goes in. And remember, it's important that your contact at the back is connected. So your earth goes in and it gets screwed up like so. So we screw it up like so. And it brings, we have to bring the wire back a little bit, make sure it's all nice and strong, get our socket. And the metal clad 
now we have to get our electrical screws again and screw this up. This one, because this is an older MK, I'm not as bothered by this one in terms of in terms of scratching the front plate because if you have a look, I got it 50p. Thank you, PJ Electrics. Basically, in that shop in Welling, if you have to go there, I would highly recommend them if you have an electrical problem because they're just amazing. But what they have is they have a second hand box and they throw all the second hand stuff in that box and they set it off for cheap. Why can't more places be like that? PJ Electrics are actually being economical by doing that. Because, you know, what I waste, there's some people who would want it who need these sockets for cheap because they can't seem to afford to buy their house but they need a new socket. So they can get it in PJ Electrics for about one pound one fifty or whatever for an average double socket compared to three ninety nine for a new one in there. Or you can get cheap ones in screw fix, but you know, it's just it's nice because sometimes in the old in, in the old box you can get think treasures like this this little metal clad and metal clad's like seven quid sometimes depending on the brand so yeah let's plug this in make sure it's safe so it looks like it's down a single socket we just put our socket in to verify the tester again definitely worth using one of these and we're cracked. So that is how you do it with metal clad. Not much to it. Very simple, usable, user without waste. And yeah, so remember to like, comment, subscribe and that's it.